Garther. Wow, what a busy night. We'll get to the big trade news in the NBA here in a bit, but we are a local sports show. And, well, we got a ton of local high school sports happening this week, continuing tonight with the playoffs for girls soccer and boys basketball. We start on the hardwood Desert Empire League champion, Palm Springs hosting Sunny Hills in the first round of Division Three AA. Chris Howard's Indians, they've been a top basketball program in our desert the last five years. Proof in the pudding. First play of the game, Jaden Craval. Gets the block and the Indians are out running. Three of them touch it in transition. Zach Buley finishes it, lays it up and in. Good offense feeds off great defense. Another example here, Craval says, give me that. Up and in and the foul. Tribe were up by 15 at one point in that brand new beautiful gym. Buley was getting buckets all night. Southpaw so smooth. Little sizzle too. He had 15 in the first half and the Indians really fed off their big three. The Craval brothers and Buley. The trio had all but two of the Indians' first half points. Palm Springs gets the win at home in the first round, 66-60 the final. The Indians play Maranatha Friday in the second round. Desert Valley League co-champ Indio at home in the first round against Bonita. The Raja is looking to make a deep run in Division 3A. Kamari Wright getting things going, the mid-range pull-up game. Loving that. Jacob Canizales now from three. That's from deep, wide open look. He's going to knock that down more times than not. Jamerson McClendon, baseline pump fake, takes it up and in. That's an easy deuce. And then the big fella, Joel Gonzalez. Find him at the top, let him go to work. 6-4 and got a high arcing shot. Nothing but nylon there. McClendon would get another bucket, a nice drive, but Bonita would break away in the second half. This team was shooting it lights out. Indio loses at home in the first round, 71-44 the final, ending the Rajah's season. All right, let's kick it. Desert Empire League champion Palm Desert at home in the first round of Division IV. Palm Desert had a few opportunities early on, and you have to capitalize when given a chance, especially in the playoffs. PD put the pressure on Western Christian. But ultimately, they were unable to find the back of the net, and sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's the name of the game, right? Put the ball in the goal. Palm Desert didn't do that once all game, but credit this Western Christian side. They were strong. Out of Upland, San Joaquin League, sometimes the other team is just better. That was the case here. Palm Desert falls at home 3-0 in the first round, ending the Lady Aztec season. Down the street, Xavier Prep also at home. Afternoon game. Sun shining. Lady Saints taking on Santa Rosa Academy, Division 6, and the Saints would waste no time. Sienna Iani finds Lexi Torres, and Torres going to put that in the back of the onion bag, made it 1 0 Xavier, or I should say 1 0, as they say in soccer. Second half, all black and gold. Former student athlete of the week, Easton Sipe. She had a hat trick, three goals for her. Torres would add another one late as the Saints roll 5 0 the final. Xavier, the only local girls soccer team to win their respective playoff game on Wednesday. 